Hey guys, Grotto One here. So uh, much to the delight of my wife, I spent some time in the house doing some uh, renovations and uh, drywall and wiring and stuff like that. So, so I haven't been in the shop much lately and I spent a couple of days on the roof of the workshop trying to get some stuff fixed there. But uh, anyways, today I want to do a video on um, parasitic losses, particularly uh, oil and oil pans and stuff. So let's have a look at that. So we're looking at the bottom of the engine here on the Firebird, the 598. And uh, so here's the uh, connecting rods and you can see the crankshaft here has a kind of a blunt end on the counterweight here and uh, more connecting rods and, uh, and the pistons. You imagine all of that stuff spinning at like, uh, you know, thousands of RPM and uh, it creates a lot of wind, it creates a lot of oil being thrown and uh, these uh, connecting rods the bearings are under pressure so that the oil is always just uh, spewing out of here and uh, flying everywhere so um, it all creates drag. So typically uh, parasitic losses for an engine uh, are things that the engine relies on uh, to make power but uh, they themselves cost power such as the, uh, the piston rings, the drag there, uh, the oil pump requires some power to turn that and the friction on the engine bearings and uh, these kind of things. So the engine needs all of those things but uh, without it it can't make the power that it makes so there is a loss and uh, I think uh, as far as I'm concerned uh, oil itself is a parasitic loss. I mean uh, yeah you need it to uh, lubricate the engine but it also it creates a lot of drag uh, on the uh, rotating assembly and a good oil pan for a well-built V8 can sometimes uh, gain uh, an additional 10, 15, 20, even more horsepower just by its design, you know, to help keep the oil off of the, uh, the rotating components. So let's say this bicycle wheel is simulating uh, the rotating components inside an engine like the crankshaft and the connecting rods and the pistons and uh, let's see what happens when I spin it and then drop water on it. And uh, what you're going to see is that the wheel will slow down and even reverse in direction. And uh, it's the power of water, or in an engine, power of oil. Give this thing a spin. You can see it doesn't take much time, and I've got it going the other way. I can do it again. So the same thing is happening. same thing is happening in an engine. You've got the, uh, you've got the engine rotating at thousands of RPM and uh, the more oil that's splashed on all the uh, rotating components, the more resistance it has and the more it wants to slow it down and it costs horsepower. So let's go back to this oil pan. I'll show you a few things. Uh, this, this tray right in here, you see the bolts here? Well that's actually a re removable piece and uh, most oil pans don't have this tray and you see the little louvers right in here? Well these line up with the connecting rods and uh, the crankshaft is rotating in this direction. So it's throwing the oil against the tray here and the louvers help to grab the oil and uh, keep it off of the uh, rotating uh, components. And on this side of the pan you can see there's a kick out right there. Let me get a better shot of that. And uh, you can see this part right here, that's the kick out that I'm talking about. That's a hollow portion of the oil pan there. It does nothing other than uh, catch the oil and uh, keep it, uh, it's kind of like a trap for the oil so it doesn't continue splashing in uh, right up to the, the rotating uh, components. And uh, there's a kick out here also, but uh, you can see it's not as extensive because the starter is right here on this side. So here you can see how that kick out on the side works. You see the uh, oil that doesn't get caught in these louvers, it gets slid up along here and it, uh, it uh, gets trapped in that, uh, that bigger kick out there on the right side. So two key uh, uh, features on this pan is the kick outs and that uh, louvered tray. And you can see here where the oil pump goes down in this area here. Well right here you can see I can get my, I get my uh, fingers in underneath there where that uh, shallow kick out is. You know, so you can see the the crankshaft is spinning like this and then the oil comes and it just kind of hammers in underneath here and it just drops back down into the pan. So these are all things that help. 